Hi guys, it's Roy from Dust Not Included. I'm hanging out with my friend Helen today and we are going to the Goodwill. Hi guys, today I'm at the Goodwill in Clinton, Connecticut. And I'm with my friend Helen. If you don't know the New England Thrifter, check out her channel at New England Thrifter. She has great vintage related content and live sales. First, I checked the cases and I spotted this piece of early American Pyrex. They were asking $24.99, which is kind of high considering what the sets sell for. Here's a Gibson cookie jar from the early 2000s. They were asking $50. It doesn't even sell for that. This little left and cracked egg planter was priced for resale. I just love these and I love the yellow roses, so I did pick that up. Did you know yellow roses mean friendship? Well, Helen and I were off to the back of the store where all the home goods were kept, and I decided to start right here on the red end cap. There wasn't much there, so I swang the corner into the figurine section. Looking carefully on the shelf for anything I might spot. Hey everyone, I love the comments you leave below. They're so fun to read. Please make sure to leave one under the video. This poor unicorn, he's missing his horn. That can't be good luck. I found this little Matryoshka doll. This would be the center of a bigger set. I looked around, but I could not find the rest of this set, so I did leave her behind. At first, I thought this was going to be an alabaster apple. It was just a modern pottery piece. I couldn't quite figure out what this would have went to. It didn't sit upright on its own, so it must have sat inside something. I really liked this pottery wall pocket, but it was chipped, so it did not come with me. This pear was really nice. It's a glass pear. Wouldn't it look really pretty in a bowl with other glass fruit? I definitely decided to put that in my cart. I definitely thought about this piece. It'd be great for a St. Patrick's Day display. It was Nantucket, so it was new. I didn't really like the way those white clovers were painted on there. They were kind of sloppy. When I looked it up, there was only one listed. They were asking around $20, and for that reason, I left it behind. These glass hats are so fun to add to a display. You can decorate inside them and around them, so I definitely picked this piece up. Here I spotted a piece of Wedgwood. I thought it was pretty, and it was marked Wedgwood made in England. They were asking $7.99. It did say Mother in 1973. I debated for a while about this and put it in my cart. However, as you can see, it only sells for around $15 to $18, and they were asking eight already, so I did end up leaving that behind. However, it is a great score for somebody who collects Wedgwood because it was underpriced for a collector. Hey guys, at the end of the video, don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. The New England Thrifter in action. The alcohol. <laughs> Here's a fun little modern set of Christmas measuring cups. I thought they were really cute. What do you guys think? They were made in China, but I think they're adorable. Well, the shelves over here were kind of bare, so I decided to go over to the bins of the new stuff they were planning to put out. Rummaging through bins reminds me of my shopping trip at the Goodwill bins. I'm not a huge Goodwill bins fan, Check out my video, I dropped an iCard here. There was a lot of stuff in here, but nothing that I was quite looking for.
so I decided to move on and head over to the wood section. Over here, I spotted, oh, now I spotted it. It's a vintage knife holder that you would hang on your wall. Those are always fun. And this plaque. I did consider the plaque. It was $5.99. However, in the moment, for some reason, I decided not to pick it up. Helen and I were having such a fun day out, we decided to stop at the Cedar Chest consignment shop and try our luck at a new place. Upon entering, I could see they had all of their home goods kind of displayed very nicely. I checked out this teapot here. They had it priced at $15, which is a great price for that. However, it didn't leave much room for resale. Checking out their prices, I could tell that I wasn't going to probably be able to find anything here for resale, but you just never know, so I checked everything out. This little vase here I thought was interesting. It turned out it's an Avon vase. I liked the design of it with the hand and the urn. They had it priced at $6, which is a good price but again like I said their prices were right at the point where I wasn't able to pick anything up for resale. I thought this candlestick was absolutely beautiful. It is a gorgeous blue it just needed some cleaning. There was only one and they were asking $20. They had some beautiful displays though. This glass flower is stunning. Just a beautiful piece. They were asking $27, which is a fair price. This back section was a little empty. So Helen and I moved over to the other side, but before stopping over there, we checked out this little display area. And this display cabinet, which had a lot of Cape Cod cranberry glass these mannequins scared me at first I thought they were real <laughs> I was so excited to see this teapot I thought it was absolutely beautiful they had it priced at $25 and then this little piece here is a marigold carnival glass I loved it However, it was chipped and they were asking $15. I spotted these Fiesta Wear sets over here. I love collecting Fiesta Wear. However, they had them priced as full sets and I have a lot of these pieces, so I'm only looking for particular items. Um, so I did not buy these for myself. I spotted this mug here. It was a commemorative piece for Fiesta Wear for their 60th anniversary in 1996. That was fun to see. I also thought this amber honey colored creamer and sugar set was charming at $15. Hey guys, don't forget I have a live sale every Thursday at 6.30 and I rotate channels with Janine's. I hope you can buy and check us out. Till next time, have a great day.